Hey everybody, Smiling Banana here, and today I made a bunch of customs based off the first Uncharted game, so um, I'm gonna show you who I made and how to make them, and yeah. Um, I'm going to go show you the group shot, and then I'll go row by row, and yeah. So, see you in the next part. Okay, so here's all the figures lined up. We're gonna go from left to right, starting on the bottom row, and then we'll move up to second and third. So starting um, on the left here, we have Gabriel Roman, um, one of the main villains of the game. Uh, to make this figure, you need Rebel Trooper legs from, no, Resistance Trooper legs from the sequels from uh, Lego Star Wars. This is um, the advent calendar Flitwick's torso just around backwards. Uh, the arms, you can, they're just plain gray arms. Faces. Uh, the Fudge's face from Harry Potter and the hair is Grindelwald's and then I just gave him this gray Lego pistol. Let's move on to Elena Fisher. Make her. Um, these are the legs from the adventure. Um, adventure with the toucan from the uh, series 22 Lego minifigures. Uh, torso is uh, Star-Lord's from Infinity War just on backwards. Her head and hair is both from Fr Fleur Delacour from the Triwizard Challenge set. And then they're just um, beige arms. Come on a lot of different figures. And I gave her a map and her gun as well. And give her her camera just because I don't ha uh, have a good build for one. So, yeah. Uh, next is Nathan Drake, the main character. Um, to build him. You need to use the legs from Harry Potter from the Lego minifigure series 2. This is Nick Fury's torso O from Captain Marvel just on backwards. The head is Bucky's and the hair is the spies from one of the Lego minifigure series. He has a ring which represents the ring that he wears around his neck. And then he gets a pistol and this gun that I used um, blue tack there to stick it on. Uh, this is one of my favorite figures I made, just because it's Nathan Drake and he's cool. Um, and yeah, so next we'll move on to Sully. Uh, to make him, I gave him um, uh, just uh, tan pants, like dark tan pants, sand colored pants. And this is a Hawaiian shirt from Lego City, but I gave it um, Garmadon's Lego, um, like his volcano arms to give it like the Hawaiian look. Um, the face isn't what I wanted his face to be. I did want his face to be the one from uh, J. Jonah Jameson back from the original Spider-Man sets because it's this face except for the gray mustache. But this will have to do for now. And then his hair is a fake Lego piece um, that I got from the dollar store. And I couldn't, that's my only gray hair. For accessories, he has a radio or a walkie-talkie. You can listen to it. It doesn't work that well. But then he has a revolver.
torso is from the uh, toy soldier from Toy Story. Um, yeah, I really like those figures. That's what this gun's actually from. Arms are just black arms. Uh, brown arms with black hands, I meant to say. Sorry. Um, and then his, he has a red bandana on backwards with it broken off a little bit there. And then uh, this is Star-Lord's head, Nick T'Challa Star-Lord from What If? And a red beanie. And then I gave him this gun with a green hand on it, so it's like a Meg. And I actually really like how this turned out. Okay. So next we have... I dropped him. Just uh, say another trooper. This one has an LMG from Brick Arms. Put that down for a second. And then this one I gave... Um, dual molded black legs. Um, the same hat. And no, I'll really give that after. But the body is... Um, of A-Wing Pilots from Lego Star Wars, just flipped backwards, um, then his head here is the same one I used on that trooper for the last, on the last row, then he has a brick arms hat, and a brown backpack, and once he has his LMG, brick arms again, he looks pretty good. Next is, these are the troopers you mostly fight at the end of the game. Um, that are wearing like blue and armor like for the last mission. This is uh, another brick arms gun. I'm not 100% sure what it is. So I'll get that out of the way. For him he has plain black legs with any dark blue torso underneath. And then a brick arms um, bulletproof vest. Then he has a Mandalorian head from Star Wars The Clone Wars. And then a black helmet with a visor on it. And it looks, kind of, it looks pretty good. Um, I just picked that base because, I don't know, kind of matched the rest, but yeah. Here is another one that uses that same torso from um, the Mandarin. But other than that, I gave him uh, firefighter legs because they're like brown pockets and then... Um, if I, I could have taken those that beat off, but I didn't. Then I used Shocker's head from Spider-Man Homecoming and a black beanie. And then he has a Uzi. I think that's what this is called. That's not Rick Arms, I forget where it's from though. I do like how this one turned out. And then, last but not least, is a Sniper. So here's a Rick Arms Sniper, if you're wondering. And then, this, the legs and the torso are from uh, Endor Trooper from Star Wars. I switched his hands to be black gloves. That head is also from Star Wars. It's a First Order Stormtrooper head, and then he gets a black beanie. Then, this is what he looks like with gun and he turned out pretty well I'd say so I'm gonna put all the figures back and we'll do a brief overview of them all and then we'll do the outro and then yeah you can go about your day okay so here's the group shot of them all together I do think Nathan Drake um, right here he definitely turned out the best in my opinion with Elena um, I do really like these two guards here I really like this whole custom showcase um, I will be doing uh, custom figures for each of the games. This is the only one I've completed so far, so it might be a little while before I do another Uncharted video. But yeah, um, I also just realized I had two more guys that didn't show off. There's just not space for them in this collection, and these don't really look that well. Good. Uh, so here's two more just plain guards. This one uses um, Mandarin's head. Okay. Whatever it's called. Iron Man 3. But other than that, not too special. I do like this one, so I like this guy. But yeah, let's put them aside. Um, so yeah, I do think this turned out really well. Um, if you guys like seeing minifigure custom showcases like this, uh, let me know down in the comments below. Let me know your favorite figure from each row and your favorite figure overall um, in the comments as well. And like, share, and subscribe, and all that usual YouTube mumbo jumbo. And I'll catch you later, eh?